I'm about to show you the ignored blood test that predicts your heart disease risk better than bad LDL cholesterol numbers. Hey, I'm Dr. Living Good. Welcome to the doc's office. This study blew my mind. I'm about to show it to you. It's from the New England Journal of Medicine, and it was done on women, 28,000 of them, that had coronary artery disease, diagnosed with plaque and clogging of the arteries. So that is a fast track to heart disease, heart failure, heart attacks. Taking 28,000 of them and analyzing two numbers. One, you hear about all the time, LDL cholesterol, labeled as the bad cholesterol, primarily produced by your own body, by the way. Over 70% of it's produced in your liver. You can eat some of it. There are dietary guidelines that you can make better choices of eating, but they looked at how much LDL is in the body. They also measured the second ignored number, CRP. C-reactive protein is a protein that shows up when there is inflammation in the body. It damages the heart muscle, and the CRP protein is broken down into the blood, and it can be measured how much is there. Now, ideally, you're gonna want that number below 10 if you get it done on your blood work. Why? Every one of you listening, men and women, is not having this tested when you go have a routine physical. Blows my mind, but apparently doctors aren't keeping up on massive studies like this one from the New England Journal of Medicine. Let me show you exactly what they found. So what they wanted to find is 28,000 women had this coronary artery disease, so you would expect LDL levels to be off the chart. That's been the narrative for the last 30 years, that high cholesterol, high LDL cholesterol specifically, is going to directly equate to placking in the arteries, but not the case. Here's what was looked at. They divided the women into four groups. Those that had a high CRP level, above 10, remember that's dangerous, above 10, not where we want it to be, and low LDL levels in the normal range, being treated with a statin, uh, but really paying attention to that number and bringing it down. Second group, was low CRP levels, so in the normal range where we'd want to see it, and low LDL levels. That's a pretty good box that a lot of people would want to choose to be in. Wait and see. Next group was high CRP levels. So those are off the chart. The heart is inflamed, it's breaking down, and high LDL levels. So not a good group up here. And then finally, low CRP but high LDLs, very interesting group right there. Which ones had the lowest amount of heart disease? Now, right out of the gates, we can go ahead and they found, yep, this group was not the one that had the most. So these women with uh, cardiovascular disease, with coronary artery disease, their CRP levels when they were low, the LDL levels when they were low, they didn't see very many of them, all right? The next group, that they found, okay? The most was this high CRP, high LDL. When CRP was high, the majority of people ended up in one of these two groups. This was the primary driving factor for developing coronary artery disease. In fact, the group that had a low CRP, but still had a high level of LDLs were not the common group at all. The biggest, by far, risk factor, producer, and determinant of having coronary artery disease is if your CRP level was high. Regardless if your LDL was low or regardless if your LDL was high, the number one predictor they found, the commonality in the majority of these women is they had CRP. What That was high. Why? What does that mean? Well, if you have cholesterol in your body, that's not a bad thing. Your liver makes it, remember? So if your liver's making LDL cholesterol, making cholesterol, making HDL cholesterol, all it's trying to do is heal you. Heal you from what? Damage. Damage created by us living out toxic lifestyles. So then inflammation is created. Inflammation oxidizes cholesterol. And when cholesterol gets oxidized, it creates damage to the heart, to the blood vessels. And that's where the CRP shows up. 
So this high level of inflammation inside of the body was oxidizing the cholesterol, which is collating, creating the placking. So the source is not the cholesterol. The source is making sure you don't oxidize your cholesterol. That's done by inflammation. If you want to understand your numbers and also get an entire training of how you can then know your full picture of your cholesterol and then figure out what you can do to naturally lower it by controlling this oxidation, I made an entire video of understanding all the blood work and how to undo that damage. And you can click it and watch it right here.